No one. No one at all. Guys' swimsuits, when they get in the water, it just blows up. Why does it get so inflated? Big booty Judy over here in the water. Yo, SpongeBob got a nice butt, just saying. He ain't no square pants right now. I did not just compliment SpongeBob's butt. What is wrong with me? Comment below your favorite SpongeBob character. Me and my friend watching my dog sleep, and the dog is literally just out like a light. <laughs> they're drooling, kicking, they're running in their dream or something. They do not look good, but it's a dog, so everything they do is automatically just the most adorable thing you've ever seen. I need a dog in my life. Where is my dog? I want a big one, and then I want a tiny one in my purse. Customer walks in two minutes before the store closes. Don't be that person, okay? Two minutes, they are cleaned up. They are ready to go. Cause then you walk in, it's gonna be at least an hour before you're done. Don't do that. You're a terrible person. They hate you. They're gonna spit in your food. I'll spit in your food. How Squidward are you today? Huh? Me personally, I'm the middle row to the left. Just nothing, just done with everything. I don't want to deal with anyone. <laughs> I don't want to do anything today, but I have to film because I'm lazy. Comment below which one you are. Child dies. Why? Oompa Loompas. Heck yeah, guys, we got another one. That's messed up. That chocolate factory was literally just a serial killer's wet dream. It was just traps. It was saw, just setting people up. Girls, you know how you say you're not hungry, but you really are, but you just don't know what you want and you don't feel like thinking about it. So you're just like, oh, I'm not hungry. But then the perfect guy comes along and he's like, okay, she'll have a large fry, please. And 20 piece chicken nuggets. It's like, you're perfect. When I can't decide, I want you to decide for me. Take charge and get barbecue sauce on the side, please. If there ain't no sauce, you ain't getting nothing from me, hunty. Childhood be like. Uh, terrible, but anyways. You ask your mom yet? Nah, she's in a bad mood. I gotta wait till like tomorrow. <laughs> you can't ask her when she's mad cause then she's just gonna say no to everything. But if she's really happy, like do some chores, extra chores to get her in a good mood. And then you ask her, you have a better chance. Cause when I'm mad, I'm just like, no, leave me alone. You want me to save your life right now? No, not in the mood. Me laying in bed at night thinking about how ugly I am. Why? No! We don't do negative self-talk in this house. I mean, I do a little bit. It's toxic. Don't do that. You're not ugly! There's no such thing as ugly. Just poor. You just need money to buy better outfits. Yo, I used to be broke. Like, broke broke. So when I went to go hang out with people and they try to split the bill or they try to get me to pay, I'm just like, bruh, I got $3 on a good day. That's my savings over like the past year. That's all I got, girl. We can each share a chicken nugget. We each get half. Fourth graders, when they hear the teacher say a bad word. <gasps> Miss Smith, oh my God, ooh. All the kids do the ooh. They're just horrified. Guys, cussing doesn't make you a bad person. Yeah, there's a time and place for it, but in front of a bunch of kids at school, no, that is unprofessional. Okay, y'all know how your mom goes out to run some errands and she calls and tells you, be sure to take the meat out to defrost before I get home so I can make good dinner. But then you forget because you're watching cartoons and eating snacks and you're lazy and you totally forgot to take out the meat. And then you hear the keys in the door and you suddenly remember, oh crap, I forgot to defrost the meat. So you hide because she's about to murder you and you're gonna starve for dinner. Y'all having cereal tonight. Me, fixing myself some cereal at three in the morning. I totally forgot that was next. My mom, who the heck is that? All right, I'm out. Yes, your mom knows you snacking in the middle of the night. My mom knows that now, but no, she does not know that in high school, I was sneaking into the kitchen at two in the morning, making a peanut butter sandwich or shredded cheese. Cause those were the quickest and quietest things to make. Or just plain butter on bread, honestly. Have y'all ever been to Six Flags or Disney World or any kind of amusement park and you want a souvenir, but you don't know what to get and you can't get anything too expensive. So you just get some weird sunglasses <laughs> and you walk around wearing them like you're the coolest kid ever. No, you look like this. You look kind of dumb. You would never buy those if you weren't at an amusement park. I did that. The glasses literally said swag. I am ashamed. No one. Dairy Queen employees, like, look what I can do. You're literally taking a shower. You live alone. And then a Dairy Queen employee just pops in like, hey, look at this. You wanted a blizzard, right? No, I didn't. Who are you? <laughs> Me waiting for my shower to be the right temperature. <laughs> you just standing there all necky, clammy and dry. It's like, yep, 
Mm-hmm. Go on your phone or something. You look weird. Okay, I put this in here because it looks funny. I laugh just looking at it, but I couldn't think of a joke and I was hoping I could think of something off the top of my head when I came to it, but no, it just looks weird. You know what? I just thought of one. Little kids, when they fart, but they don't tell anyone and they're just waiting for you to smell it and then they're gonna blame it on you. <laughs> Why is SpongeBob the main character when Patrick is the star? Hmm. Patrick is the star. He is the main character. He's dumb, but I love him. <laughs> Look at the little Patrick baby. <laughs> He's so cute. This is moms when they're like, oh, isn't my son so handsome over there? No, he's kind of scary. He looks like a little alien. <laughs> I would love when I would go into class, specifically math, and I'm dreading it. I hate that class. I don't want to do no work. And then I find out the teacher having some personal problems and they want to rant. You get real interested. You're asking questions. You get them real into telling the story to avoid the lesson. And then bell rings. Oh no, class is over, but we didn't learn anything. Oh shoot, see you tomorrow. You know, sometimes you just wake up in a bad mood. You just want to fight. And if you have a boyfriend, they are the perfect emotional punching bag. <laughs> I'm kidding, don't do that. But sometimes you just want to get a fight. You are in a mood, especially if you're on your, you know, monthly, you know, mother nature visit. But afterwards you get hungry and you're like, hi boyfriend, I love you, buy me food. This is right after. And they want to punch you in the face. They really do, but they can't. When there's a debate in class and you're shy, but you're also very argumentative. I said that weird. It's like, oh, do I roast them? Do I shut them down right now or just keep my cover? Like, do I feel like it? I don't wanna waste the energy on these people. Cause most of the time, the facts don't matter. If you're not funny, if you can't come up with a good roast, you look stupid. They will attack you personally and you can't think of nothing back. Squidward, I feel you. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. I can think of so many captions for this, one, me on a Monday morning, and me every morning. I just don't wanna do life sometimes. Thinking about everyone I hate, just ill. That one name pops in your head and you're just like, ugh, I hate them. Me when I'm hungry, comment below a caption for this. Aww. Guys, y'all ever fought with your boyfriend like you're roasting them? You're being pretty mean, and they don't even say nothing mean back, they just barely raise their voice. And I break down in tears. I'm just like, why are you yelling at me? And they're like, you literally just roasted the heck out of me. It doesn't matter, okay? I am very fragile. Don't raise your voice at me. I will break inside. <laughs> okay, dude, chill. Put the book away. <laughs> the test is not gonna be that hard. Guys, you know it. Me trying to understand math, getting stressed out, thinking about everything I have to do, but then I procrastinate and add extra stress, and then I just explode. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Oh, it's a pet rock. My only friend is literally the rock in my driveway. And even he still managed to run away from me. I don't know how he did it, but good for you. He's like, I can do better than this girl's driveway. Yeet. <laughs> yeah, I miss that rock. <laughs> Comment below if you have a pet, if it's an animal or an inanimate object, don't matter, let me know. What's its name? And I will see you weird people next time.